TK, a little controversy going on with the White House right now. After three years, they have addressed the Winston Churchill bust. Oh, yeah. We didn't talk about this today. Yeah, this is a bizarre story. Really weird. For some reason, it's come up again, and uh, even the White House press has been asking about it. So uh, they asked about it yesterday with the, uh, what is the guy's name? Josh Ernest is the deputy press secretary. It is almost like a bad Sherlock Holmes script, right? The, the case of the missing Winston Churchill bust. Uh, the yeah. reason that uh, we waited mm-hmm. on Friday is because there is uh, a myth, myth floating in some of the darker corners of the Internet. I see. Wait, well, that suggests that... The darker corners of the Internet. Like major newspapers who have reported uh-huh. this? Yes, mm-hmm. and television stations. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At, upon taking office, the president went out of his way to snub the British people oh, by it didn't happen. prematurely returning the bust of Winston Churchill that had occupied uh, a prominent place in the Oval Office under the previous president. Okay, and it's interesting to note here, because this is kind of important. Their initial thing was they just denied that that ever happened. They just flat out said, no, that's a myth that did not happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, we never returned uh, the Winston Churchill bust. Now listen to the explanation. It's changed a little bit. A lot. That's not true. Yeah. Uh, as the, the White House curator has previously explained, and I believe as we explained at the end of the day on Friday, uh, the bust was loaned to President Bush by the British government. Okay. Uh, as is customary at the conclusion of President Bush's term. Right. Uh, and before President Obama entered the Oval Office, uh, the bust was returned to the British Embassy. What hasn't changed are two things. One, the president's, uh, the priority and value that the president places on our special relationship with the United Kingdom. Sure. And two, the location of the prominently placed Winston Churchill bust in the White House residence. Uh, And I think you may have seen the picture that we put on the White House website on Friday of Mm. of President Obama showing off the Churchill bust in the White House residence to Prime Minister Cameron when he visited the U.S. back in March. Okay, so that's the first we've heard of this extra Winston Churchill bust. There's all of a sudden more than one. Mm -hmm. One of them they did return. So that part of the story is actually true. Although they denied it initially. Although they denied it initially, and but they still have one that they posed with uh, uh, Cameron with. Uh, Cameron, Obama, and the Winston Churchill bust were all a big happy photo op last Friday. So they did, they had that one, and we didn't even know about the residence Winston Churchill bust. Apparently, that's still there. But the Oval Office bust was returned to the British Embassy, and that's where they leave it mm-hmm. because it was traditional. Mm-hmm. And it is, I guess, when it's been on loan. Yeah. But uh, what happened with that? Stupid. The bronze by Sir Jacob Epstein, mm-hmm. worth hundreds of thousands of pounds, if it were ever sold on the open market, enjoyed a uh, pride of place in the Oval Office during President Bush's tenure. But when British officials offered to let Mr. Obama hang on to the bust for a further four years, the White House said, thanks, but no thanks. They didn't really mean it, though. That is from The Telegraph in the UK, one of the dark corners of the Internet. (laughs) 